Pluto, July 14th, 2015, the historic flyby. We get the closest look ever in history at Pluto. Now, of course, the spaceship goes off there 10 years ago. They call it high tech, sophisticated, all these different terms. I can't help but my cynical mind thinking that $750,000 spent back 10 years ago, we'd probably get a lot more bang for our buck if we could just launch it today. But then again, we'd have to wait 10 years to see Pluto. Pluto, the planet, well, it's not actually a planet anymore. Now they're calling it a dwarf planet. And they're finding out now that it's not just a planet per se, it's a binary system where Pluto is going around with something called Charon, C-H-A-R-O-N, kind of like twisted pretzel type of thing around an orbit, around nothing, just a gravity center. And of course, Pluto being smaller than our moon and Charon being smaller than Pluto has moons around it too. Tiny little moons going around this cute little planet, non-planet called Pluto. So do we get our money's worth for $750,000 from NASA? Unmanned vessel? Yeah, I suppose compared to some of the things we're spending our taxpayer money on. Might as well enjoy it, and let's watch that close flyby when it comes on July 14th. Thank you.